If you're trying to break into data, there's a good chance you're making this mistake. You see, I help a lot of people land jobs in data, and there's usually a common problem that holds back their potential from getting hired. Can you guess what it is? They're spending way too much time on certification courses. <gasps> now, before you go trying to find my address and beat me up, I want you to know something. I also fell victim to course purgatory. And listen, I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't get certifications. I wanna clarify that some certifications are really good. In fact, we'll talk in more detail about the ones I recommend in a bit. But I don't believe you should put all of your time into certifications. By doing this, you're actually opening yourself up to all kinds of roadblocks, and this could be the reason that you're not getting hired. So today, I'm gonna to break down exactly why doing more certifications doesn't actually mean you'll be hired. I'll talk about how this be holding you back and what you should do instead. So let's dive in. Online courses are great for learning the skills that you need, but the problem is most people don't know when to get off the hamster wheel. I call this course purgatory, taking course after course with seemingly no end. And what I've noticed is there's typically two reasons why. Number one is you take course after course, unsure if you really know enough to get the job. Here's the problem with this. You continue learning theory through courses, but they often offer minimal practical knowledge in the real world. You have to get real practice. And the other reason is this. You think that the more certifications you have, the more marketable you are to employers. Unfortunately, this just isn't true. As long as you know the skills, adding more certifications won't really do much for you. This was the trap I fell into. I'm sure many of you can relate. Every certification I added to LinkedIn, I felt more and more accomplished. I was racking those babies up and just kept doing so to appear more credible. By the end, I had like 10 or 12 certifications or something, and I thought the recruiters would just start lining up in my inbox. They did not. This is called productive procrastination. Productive procrastination is when you do things that look like you're getting work done, but really you're just avoiding the hard stuff that you should actually be doing. These things make you feel like you're making progress, but they're really just tricks that keep you from finishing your core tasks. So you end up just not moving forward on what you really need to do or to get to where you really wanna be. I didn't realize that I had spent four or five months doing this by only focusing on certifications when I could have been applying new strategies and making real progress, like the ones I'm gonna teach you in a second. I wanna clarify again, it's not wrong to be excited about certifications, nor is it wrong to wanna to add them to your LinkedIn. Those are still accomplishments, but the problem is over-investing in them or thinking that they're what are gonna get you your job. So why shouldn't you over-invest in certifications? Why don't they really matter? Well, while they may have previously been really impressive to employers, they just really aren't anymore. The truth is, most employers don't really care about about how many certifications you've taken or which ones you've taken. For most certifications, they just don't hold a ton of weight and the bar is just too low. I'm guilty of breezing through a few certifications just to add that badge to my LinkedIn profile. And that's what a lot of people do. In fact, there's a few reasons why I wouldn't recommend putting too much of your time into certifications. They take up time that could be spent practicing the skills. It can get expensive. You don't always learn on a super deep level and too many certifications can look a bit suspicious. Can you really be an expert on every skill you're listing, especially for an entry level job? The bottom line is certifications can have diminishing returns. They're useful up to a point, but shouldn't be the end goal. Instead, invest your precious time and money into developing real world skills. We'll touch on this more in a bit. Now, there are a handful of certifications that really can help you, but they're probably not the ones you're thinking about. So which certifications do matter? It's not just any course off Udemy or buying some guru's course on LinkedIn. Instead, you should look to proprietary certifications. These are exam-based certifications that you pay to take offered by the company that made the tool. Examples include the MO210 for Excel, the PL300 for Power BI, Tableau Desktop Specialist for Tableau, or AZ900 for Azure. These give much more credibility than your typical online certification, and they actually matter to most employers, at least the ones that know about them. It shows that you've actually studied and taken a test with standardized scoring. So if you pass, then it really proves that you understand the tool. So once you're comfortable enough with a tool like Excel or Tableau, I highly recommend seeking out some of these proprietary certifications. 
Even just one of these will go a long way to making you a more credible candidate. Beyond certifications, you should be investing just as much time in projects. What certifications do in teaching you the material, projects help you solidify what you're learning in a practical way. Create projects and develop a portfolio. If you're interested in how to create your own online portfolio, check out my video tutorial where I walk you through how I built mine. And my portfolio has served me very well throughout the course of my career. So if you're stuck in course purgatory, consider making an exit, whether that's with proprietary certifications or creating more projects and developing a portfolio. Appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I don't like that. <laughs>